Hello there Virgos, welcome to your tarot reading. So <clears throat> I have some very, very interesting energies here. Um, I definitely feel that for a lot of you, you're scrapping away a lot of old things from your life and you're, you're planning a new start, okay? For a lot of you, this can be a new work situation in which you are branching out trying to find work that is more emotionally fulfilling that can also pay you adequately whatever it is the amount that you feel you deserve so i definitely feel that this is a no nonsense type of energy coming in for january across your work environment and also your relationship sector i do feel that um for some of you there might be um several projects that you just recently wrapped up and you're waiting on the money to come in for these projects. I do feel that the money will come in. And um, I would say February, March would be indicative of, you know, financial um, upswing as well. But overall, I don't feel major financial issues coming through for you for 2016. So I would say that the year is more other focus. And it is focused very, very much on people from the past. I have a lot of cup energies with um, family members and um, even loved ones. And I definitely feel that communication, succinct communication and things like that would be in, it's in your best interest for 2016 to curb the things that you say, how you express yourself and, you know, holding back a little bit would be better for you because of all these swords energy. All right. So I do feel that starting in January and February, a lot of you are turning your back on somebody that you, are, um, were very supportive of once upon a time that you have cared for a great deal once upon a time and you you feel as if this person is just not um, where they where they are in life their emotional outlook their emotional maturity level you feel that they might be lacking and you are looking for somebody who is a little bit more seasoned okay so a lot of you might be involved with somebody who is significantly younger either physically or just emotionally and you're turning your back on this person so I feel like this is somebody that might have come in um, in 2015 it is showing up here as a page of rods which is a fire energy or it is somebody who's very spirited. It is somebody I feel that is of a different cultural ethnic group than you as well. So you're turning your back on this and you are going towards somebody else who is um, a lot more emotionally mature, who is more methodical and who overall just has a very good sense when it comes to... Um, when it comes to their ability to think, their ability to rationalize, and somebody who is has a good balance between you know their emotions and their um, their mind, so a lot of you might have two potential candidates that you're vying who are vying for your attention. One of them I'm sensing is an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. The other one is showing up as a water sign, as um. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Now, the thing about this um, water sign is that I feel that it's a good complementarity. You both balance each other out pretty well because um, I feel that it's it's difficult for you to connect with this air sign and you want more of an intellectual or, excuse me, an, an emotional rapport. You want more of an, an, an emotional rapport from your interpersonal relationships. So... You might, a lot of you might just go ahead with that um, water sign comes the um, the springtime. And what I do feel is there is an element of um, trust issues coming in with the air sign. And I don't know how this is going to play out for you all individually. But I do feel that they're, it's, they're showing up in the upright position. So this is a very important thing for you both to work through. If I feel that the, the misunderstandings, trust issues, and things like that are coming in for throughout the summertime as well. So this is something that is um, kind of, um, it's an ongoing issue. And it needs to definitely be addressed. And you really want to keep that in mind, okay? If this is somebody in your work environment, I definitely feel they are going to come to your rescue, like around the summertime, and they're going to um, show you that they are in fact honorable and just um, they're there for you. All right. But um, overall, the, the situation with the water sign looks very, very stable. 
there is a mutual rapport there is there aren't that many you know problems when it comes to communication so i definitely feel that is also a, an alternative that you should pursue now in terms of the second quarter of the year i definitely feel of a lot of emotional contentment coming in for you we're starting out with a lot of um energies where there's dating, there's communication, and I do feel a lot of communication on uh, via, you know, social networking sites and just electronic communication, um, text messages and, and things like that coming through. And especially um, this is the month in which you can leave your work behind. And I feel that for this year, a lot of you have realized that um, you've been workaholics in the past and you're making more of a concerted effort to um, balance out your life, balance out the work and play and balancing out the emotional and professional aspects of your life. You're, you're seeking more emotional fulfillment from your relationship and you're um, spending more quality time with children, with people who are important to you. And you're starting to realize that time is very accelerated. So you want to make the most of it before, you know, we all perish and before we become too old and we are lacking the good health in order to spend with our family members. So there's more of a, uh, you know, joie de vivre and, uh, basically seizing um you know like seize the day type of energy coming through for you where you are taking initiative okay so it, it's a great great um second half of the um second quarter of 2016. now the last thing i want to mention for the second quarter is i do feel that by the um by the late spring things are a little bit problematic okay so this is especially coming in for the month of may uh, may and june so let, let's just look into that i want you to be very very careful when it comes to communication especially on the work front uh, we do have here the three of pentacles reverse which means a collaboration a work deal something that was struck a deal with um, possibly with two other people and I do feel greatly that it is in a work environment okay and especially if you are dealing with an air sign in a work environment I don't know how this is going to play out specifically for all of you because the air sign is showing up as a knight and a knight of swords but I do feel that you might just want to be very very careful with communication with this air sign be also very careful when it comes to travels and um, over exerting yourself so this means you know I, I feel like for a lot of you there it can be just like um, heat exhaustion frostbite if you're even traveling to you know anywhere that is um, if if I don't know if you're traveling it's the summertime but if you're traveling to the southern hemisphere for example so just be very careful about the element I'm sensing you know drastic temperature changes very severe fevers and things like that I do feel somebody is there to help you to like nurse you back to health but um you're just like not even going to be aware of it and I do feel um you know it could just be your kind of um in a daze, they come in and out and they, you know, nurse you back to health and then they're gone and you don't even feel it. So I definitely feel that there is a very, very major, major shift in temperature, drastic, extreme temperature changes. So if you are anticipating any type of an expedition where you are going somewhere where, you know, the temperature is very extreme, just be very careful, get, you know, proper gear, equipment, and um, get proper gear equipment and you know um, I, I don't know how you can per, uh, prepare for one of these major ex, um, expeditions but you know what you need to do so just be very careful about that if for those of you who are doing this in um, May June okay so the second quarter of the year and especially towards the end of the second quarter of the year so this is going to be May June July that time frame so just you know keep that in mind I also feel as well that um, for those of you who are um, doing this especially for a work situation I do sense that you know it might have started with like three people and then one of them got sick 
and then the other one and you are kind of like stuck on your own and then the the person that got sick was like the logistics man so you might be a little bit stuck in the uh, expedition or as a result of this trip but I definitely feel an element of very very extreme temperature changes so for those of you who are traveling who are anticipating something like this just you know send me a message let me know okay because I, I do feel that you just want to be very careful here I'm getting here the ten of swords as well as the seven of swords and these are not good cards coming in together it indicates some kind of wrongdoing from one party some kind of mistake coming through that can have um, you know ramifications so you just want to be very careful about this um, so moving on towards the third quarter we do have here very very beautiful cards indicative of somebody showing up from your past okay and once again this is showing up as um, the six of cups and the queen of swords and also the seven of cups which indicates fantasy being brought to light it is basically that uh, whatever you were dreaming of whatever you were pining over for the past two quarters of the year things are coming it's sort of like your your fruit is um, your wish is being granted it's watching things culminate watching things fall into place one by one and feeling very satisfied with your life so this is a very beautiful energy coming in for the third quarter where not only are you um, able to formulate your plans, you're able to execute them. So projects are falling into place. Relationships are getting more of a smooth uh, over. So whatever situation that has been brewing in the past that has been pretty stagnant or that has been proven to be f um, full of friction and just, you know, jarring especially interpersonal communication with you and other people there's definitely some smoothing over in all aspects of your life and I also feel that um this there is a truce reach with you and another person and I do feel this is it could be a relationship partner that you have children with it can be somebody from your past you have children with um, relationships in the household environment because the six of cups does also indicate you know um, a family children a home and it can just be family members as well people we have a very very strong deep karmic connection with that we can't really sever and I usually associate that with you know usually it's um family members people we're married to and especially people we have children with so it is showing up in very favorable position so I do feel that for a lot of you whatever relationship has been difficult they're definitely going to be straightened out I also feel as well that um somebody in your household needs some help okay and um usually they're very proud and they don't this might have been somebody that might have said um things against you or they might have held a grudge against you or you might have held a grudge against them in the past um i do feel that there's something some kind of calamity going on in their lives it could be a water sign or a an air sign as well so some calamity is going on in their lives and they're afraid to reach out to you because of the past history that you share um, you sense it and I feel that a lot of you are you know the bigger person here you're coming in and you're helping them and you don't care if they ask for it or you don't care if you're going to get the recognition for it you're helping them you're letting your pride down and you realize that this other person has a very very big ego they have a lot of pride and they are afraid to reach out to you even though they really desperately need help and this is a situation that they need help with so you're coming in you're becoming the bigger person and you're going to you know do it because you feel like it's the right thing and you want them to be okay and you don't even care if they're you're going to get acknowledged for it so this is a very beautiful healing therapeutic energy that is very conducive for reconciliation now with this person that you're coming in to help I do feel that you definitely can reconcile but I do sense that um, it's it's very uncomfortable it's a very uncomfortable relationship so maybe the timing is not right now or maybe you know you do whatever you need to do to help them and then wait for them to come around because I, I feel that there is some you know some type of juncture or some type of critical turnaround in their mentality in the way that they think and they're going to be able to really um, appreciate not only your efforts but you know the the unassuming manner in which you're able to 
go out of your way to help them. So I feel that, you know, just let the situation be for now and it will come around and it will be smoothed out. Okay. So there's a serious smoothening out in all aspects of your life, especially when it comes to family, love relationships, and also um, finances as well. So this is a very, very good, um, good time. The, the third quarter is a very beautiful time in 2016. Um, I also feel as well, <laughs> there is somebody in your miss and I feel that for a lot of you this can be a romantic partner that you have uh, had history with um, there is some type of a clandestine element associated with it it's sort of like offers being made deals being struck behind the scenes okay I feel that I feel that your intentions are very pure their intentions are very pure but for some reason, there is some element of clandestine. Uh, it's just some element of things being kept behind the scene. Maybe this is a new relationship and you're trying to approach it in a very delicate manner. So you're not telling people about it. But I, I do feel like it's covered up. It's covered up by beautiful things. So I don't feel there's any dangers or any harms associated with it. But I do have Six of Cups right next to the Seven of Cups which indicates a very beautiful, um, sensual, and also, you know, that, that ideal relationship. But the Seven of Cups can also indicate fantasies and mirages and things that are not built on solid footing. So take it slow, and I do feel for a lot of you, you're taking it slow. And it can be with water sign or air sign as well. Now coming into the uh, fourth quarter and towards the end of this year, we have a little bit of gossip coming through, all right, and um, it's showing up as the Three of Cups, and this is not a, um, a favorite card of mine. I definitely, definitely feel that some situations in your life, you're getting some kind of judgment. You're, people are judging you, and people are kind of like looking at you and just like, what were you thinking? And you likewise can look at a situation especially when it comes to um the women in your life i feel a lot of feminine energy is coming through and this can be co-workers or just um you know relatives but i i do feel that there are people that are they're getting snippets of information and they're making value judgment and they really shouldn't interfere, but I definitely feel them interfering. For a lot of you who are involved with, um, a lot of you might be involved with somebody who has children, who is, uh, who was married, and um, you might be going back to this person and your friends and family members and, and things like that around you are kind of uh, de standing in your way or at least they're t asking you like, is this something that you you sure you want to do? A lot of you might be in that type of situation. And um, a lot of you too might be thinking about, you know, an ex-partner. If you have broken up for this year, okay, if you have broken up with a significant other this year, I do feel that you might be um, under the radar, slipping away in the middle of the night, going back to this other person. And that's why you're getting the um, admonition, the, the judgment. So the, the thing here is, um, I do feel, you know, when it comes to the whole, and I explained this in one of my videos, the whole Sagittarius, um, Saturn transiting Sagittarius. We have to live a, an authentic life. We have to do things that are true to our own values. So the thing about this here is, this is a, a very important year that is all about authenticity, okay, for across all the signs. But I do feel for, for you guys, Virgos, it is going to be very important for you to try to understand what this means, okay? And, and what I mean by that is that you're, we're all responsible adults, and we try to be responsible adults. And, you know, when, when you become an adult or if you call yourself an adult, it means that you make decisions, for yourself they can be right or wrong and you usually don't know we try to do our best but you know we usually don't know if it's a right or wrong choice but either way we make decisions for ourselves we live and learn now the thing that is coming in for the fourth quarter is I do feel that 
there's something that you know you shouldn't do and you're doing it but you know this is your life so regardless of what other people are saying this is your life and if you were to deny that aspect of you then you wouldn't be living in your truth in your own sense of authenticity so the point here is that don't be ashamed of what you're doing if this is something that you want and you're, you know, sneaking away or the other person is sneaking away and doing it in the under the, the cover of darkness. It's because there is that element of shame associated with it. But like I said, we are all responsible adults. We know what we're supposed to do and what we're not supposed to. If you know it's wrong and you still want to do it, you don't need to justify to anybody. Okay, you don't need to justify to anybody. But, um, you know, just be careful about actions and consequences. That is something that is real. And we need to take heed to. But being an adult is to own up to your actions. All right. So that is something that you need to keep your um, eyes on because I feel for a majority of you, this situation is playing out in the second quarter. And then for others of you, it is playing out in the end of the year. But I definitely feel that there are great emotions involved and the emotions are very, very positive. So how can you deny yourself a situation if the emotions themselves are very positive or very, very enlightening are allowing you to operate on a higher vibration? So what I'm sensing is other people might not understand it, but they are not living your life. They are not walking in your shoes. So try your best to, you know, figure this one out on your own because the ones around you might not have the insights or they're just not involved in the situation to really understand what you're going through. So that's the advice pretty much for the last quarter of um, December. And I do feel once again that these are major months that you really need to keep an eye out for. Okay. So the first is going to be, um, I'm sensing around uh, June, May and June. The second part is going to be around um, August and December, August and December. So I do feel that you are going to, um, this is a, a major, major life journey for you coming in for 2016. And I do sense that for a lot of you, for a lot of you, you are dating somebody or you're seeing somebody who is physically younger than you but also very emotionally on your level. So they, they could just have be an old soul. And you're trying to find a way to make this work. And I feel that coming in for the end of this year is still that whole process of, you know, I know this is right, but this is a, a situation that requires a lot of changes in my life. So this can be, you know, a situation where you come together with somebody else and you might decide to have children and you might decide like, um, okay, well, if we're going to get serious, then it indicates to me that um, there are, I'm going to have to drastically change my life in order to accommodate the other person. And they likewise have to do the same for me. So I feel that this is a situation where you are starting to think about long term commitment, um, you know, rearranging your life in order to accommodate another person. I feel that a lot of you have done it in the past and things didn't work out. And now moving forward, you're not only, it's not that you're getting cold feet. You are very, very capable and you have great insights and problem solving skills. And when you choose to do something, but I definitely feel that you're kind of wondering if is if this person is the one and you're wondering, you know, I thought I had the one in the past and it didn't work out that way. So what am I doing here with another similar situation? Or, you know, um, I don't know if this person is willing to accommodate me the way that I'm accommodating them. So there are some serious discussions that need to be had. And I just want to say that do not be afraid. Say whatever it is that you need to say. Get your point across. Because when it comes to relationships, you know, over over analyzing and uh, over explaining things is always better than miscommunication. So that is my advice for you for the last um, quarter of the year. And throughout this year, I do feel one of the main energy is to be authentic, to stand firm in your truth, 
to stick by your truth even though other people might not see eye to eyes with you. So that is something I really want you to be careful about and I want you to try to cultivate in your life for 2016. I do hope you all have a wonderful, prosperous and you know restful as well 2016. It is a hodgepodge of energy and I do feel that May and June are um, just keep an eye out for you know problematic situations okay plan 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 things out very very well before you take a trip all right and for those of you taking a trip just message me i will talk to you soon take care of yourself virgos bye bye